Greetings of the day everyone. Uh, welcome to this 30 day strategy for CAPF AC 2024 video. The exam is one month away from us. It is on 4th of August. It is about one month. Uh, we are somewhere around 27-28 June uh, as of now. And uh, this video will be my final video for you from today until the very last day of the exam. I'm not going to be putting two week strategy and then one week strategy and then last day strategy. No, this is my one and only video from today until the 4th of August. So please listen carefully and let us begin. The first good thing we have on our hands is the bumper vacancy. Opposed to older trends, we have significantly higher vacancy this year. We have 506. All the screenshots are from the official UPSC notification. Please make good use of the 506 just because you have just because the cutoff is going to go very much down for paper one. It may go down. It may go much lesser than 140 than it usually is for your candidate. So this does not mean that the final list, the marks are going to go down. Because if you need a good force allocation within this, then obviously you need good marks. So we can't go lax that just because the cutoff is going to go down, it is going to get easy for me or uh, so it is not going to go like that. You need to work hard. You need to score high because you need a better rank. You need to have a good fighting chance. You don't want to be on the border case and then keep thinking if I'll clear or if I'll not clear. No, we don't want that. So we are going to prepare hard for it. So 506, the vacancies are good, bumper. So those who previously were on the border case, it is easier for them now because they need to work slightly bit harder and they will surely make it this time because the vacancies are higher. So this is a good thing for all the candidates. Now, next, we have the scheme and syllabus of the exam. Uh, the written exam is on 4th of August, 10 to 12, 2 to 5. So here the 10 to 12, the gates will close on 9.30 and for the 2 o'clock paper, the gates will close on 1.30 for the venue of the examination. This 30 minute rule has to be taken very seriously. It will come in your admit card. It will be mentioned in your admit card. But I'm also telling it now because until last attempt, it was the 10 minute rule that you have to enter 10 minutes before the gate closes. But now it is 30 minutes. Please make sure you are there on time, especially in the 12 to 130 break. Please don't go very far away. Make sure you are well back within time. You are at least inside the gates of the venue. And at least for uh, some cases, if the invigilator is too strict, just show your face to the invigilator that you are standing there. You are just outside the room or something. Because I have seen uh, some of my known people who rode the forest service mains uh, this year who uh, where this 30 minute rule was implemented for the first time and uh, they were standing right outside the room and they could not attempt the paper because they entered just two, three minutes before the qu uh, paper started, although they were standing outside. So please uh, see if you're in visual restrict, avoid any such spectacles. You are not going to gain a lot of marks by reading 5-10 minutes before the paper. So this is UPSC and uh, it has taught us enough that you need a broader and better base of understanding than merely mugging up facts at the last moment. The exam, as you already know, since you have been preparing for a long time, it is paper 1, paper 2. You can pause the video, you can read all this, uh, the language and the minimum qualifying and everything. So. I'm not going to teach what can be uh, written uh, exactly over here. Now let us move ahead. Since this is a strategy video, uh, we are somewhere around here. Third is the last day. Fourth is the Sunday again. And you have your exam on fourth. So we, uh, th the first thing you need to do is that you need to make your own plan because it's that is that is always the best way to go about it. But I will also be giving a plan later in the slideshow. No, no need to worry about that. But the first thing is you make your own plan that what you feel is good. And then you come back to this video, you go to the second part 
and then you uh, second half of the video and you see what plan i have suggested and if you find anything good in the plan you incorporate it within your own plan that should be the way just because i have said or some other topper has come and said that you do this you do that that does not mean you follow it entirely or blindly you need to take it with a pinch of salt you need to do what will give you the most marks our aim is to get marks the highest we need to go for where the marks are highest we need to go where the coverage of the questions is highest we will discuss on that shortly so you have 5 weeks left 5 weeks entirely with us 5 weeks we have to cover entire paper 1 paper 2 syllabus uh at least twice in this month uh so you may spend around 3 weeks for the first set of revision of paper 1 and paper 2 and the last 2 weeks you can do as a final sort of compilation of the things and the first 3 weeks will also include practice please make sure you do regular practice of your mocks both paper 1 and paper 2 in paper 2 writing physically by hand is very very important you need to do it within the time limit which is given you need to practice and i'll be explaining how i will be assisting you in all this later in this video so this is the first thing you have to go about it the next is the paper 1 syllabus that is in front of us all the screenshots are from upsc notification first is the general mental ability this has been a scoring topic in the past years quant aptitude numerical ability you need at least at least 80% and preferably more than 90% accuracy in the quant questions you cannot go wrong in this because the questions are easy all the veterans and people with multiple attempts will get it right so if you are first attempt or you are very new so please take care that you need to get good marks in mental ability the next is general science general science is very much related to the ncrts you need to have a good command over your ncrts right away from class 9th until 12th 11th and 12th you can do selected chapters as per the pyq analysis that you have done by yourself and some other videos you can watch on our channel and others also and please pay informa uh, special importance to it biotech and environmental science class 12th uh, environmental science class 12th biology there are few chapters on environmental science it is very important upsc asked at least four to five questions in the civil services prelims 2024 from it biotech and it also please go through current affairs compilations or something and pay special focus to these few topics because since the syllabus has mentioned it it is very highly probable that you are going to get at least one to two questions from these current affairs of national and international importance you have been going through your monthly current affairs your own newspaper reading and all that so uh, i am not going to comment much the roi that is the return of investment on these topics is slightly lower in current affairs because i have seen in the past one to two years the kind of current affairs that is being asked is very broad and factual in the cepf and the even the non factual part which is asked is very hard to think about in the exam so we are going to read it but we are not going to spend too much of our time on current affairs whatever you have been studying we are just going to continue with that we are not going to pick up any new material i will go through the do's and don'ts later so and but within current events the defense current affairs is of prime importance for us because this exam is has shown a trend of asking defense questions so please make sure you uh, have read the defense current affairs of past at least 2 to 3 years 2 years at least because first of all defense current affairs is not too much so uh, you it may be around 7 8 pages for one year and you cover 2 years so that you are well aware of what is coming and what is not coming defense current affairs you can get it right rest polity economy music art literature i know it can be tough to read sports the questions are very very tough in the uh, upsc and uh, upsc exams other allied exams also it is very tough but defense is something you can get correct and ir also international relations both are short and simple topics for you to do 
नेक्स्ट इज इंडियन पॉलिटी एंड इकोनॉमी दीज आर वेरी स्ट्रैटिक वेरी कंफर्टेबल टॉपिक्स एंड स्कोरिंग ऑल्सो पॉलिटी इज स्कोरिंग सो प्लीज डोंट लूज मार्क्स हियर इकोनॉमी कैन बी अ बिट कन्फ्यूजिंग बट इफ यू हैव गुड सॉलिड्स एंड द फाउंडेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स देन इट्स फाइन हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया इज चेंजिंग चेंजिंग इन द सेंस द पैटर्न ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड द डेप्थ ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज चेंजिंग फॉर अस नॉट द हिस्ट्री इट सेल्फ ऑब्वियसली सो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड दिस इन द सी डी एस वीडियो वेर आई हैव गिवन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन द लर्निंग्स फ्रॉम सी डी एस वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर फॉर सी ए पी एफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आई गिव दैट मे बी अ मंथ और so there i have discussed on the changing shift within the subject of history within the cpf and other upsc allied exams and i have discussed on the new sources from where upsc is asking the questions and what can be done about it so history i have spoken much in depth there but here what i'm going to say is we are going to give just enough time to revise it once and leave it there because the kind of questions that upsc is asking in history it is highly unlikely that you would have read in that much depth i will be very honest with you it is highly unlikely you need to go with some aptitude some logic some broader understanding and then you have to go for some guessing like i have shown in the cds video i have taken 15 to 20 questions and i have shown the aptitude of how to eliminate and how to think but in history you should have the chronology mapped correctly right from the stone age until the british uh, until 1857 and uh, beyond you need to have the chronology etched in your mind perfectly you cannot go wrong with the chronology you need you should know that satvahanas came before vakatakas and all the all the things up and down vijayanagar bahmani sultanate everything you need to know the chronology who came when some major kings you need to know their time of ruling like you need to know the uh, time, uh, the reign of akbar you need to know the reign of krishna dev rai the third from 1509 till 1529 you need to know the you need to know some kings some ashok 268 bc until 232 bc you need to know these few kings so that you can take them as a reference as a benchmark and then you can sort through the chronology because if you know the chronology you can get few options eliminated so it makes things easier for you and chronology will not change year on year it is a static thing indian and world geography ncert 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 nothing else N- next we have the paper 2 i have discussed paper 2 in great amount of depth the type of questions the amount of questions everything i'll explain in the second half on what i can do for you but the security and human right issues are questions which you can attempt polity essay you can attempt economy maybe if you are stuck up and there will be one general essay like uh, work from home or some other ones uh, i am not able to recall exactly but yeah one generic essay from current affairs will be there which you can attempt so please make sure to attempt that philosophical essays unl- until and unless you have a good command on writing philosophical essays please avoid writing them in the exam upsc just asked one uh, essay like that in the capf exam so we do not need to get worried too much i will be taking on how to write philosophical essays very soon so if you need those videos do let us know now let us come to the main point of this entire video that is your uh, that is your the schedule for this month this is my schedule what i would have suggested for someone with a reasonable preparation who has done a, who has covered his or her subjects at least twice in the past and has their own notes for the subject these are some prerequisites that i have assumed at least if you don't have your own notes you have a compiled material that yes this is my one booklet from coaching or from whatever that if i read this my subject is over like that you don't need to go through multiple sources first we start uh, i will go from the last day to beyond the last day is 4th of august that is the exam third i have kept entirely blank for you that is whatever you want to do you can do you, if you want to study you study if you don't want you don't study 
that is entirely up to you i don't decide what you do on third first and second you read the defense current affairs and you read and you solve the capf 2023 paper in depth you solve it in the same timing 10 to 12 2 to 5 and then you do it by yourself uh, you, the analysis you read the answers you read the solution you prepare all the four options from the capf 2023 paper if in an option a b c d is given and c is the correct answer you have mugged up c as the answer but you need to read about a b and d also in that because upsc has a trend of setting new questions from the earlier options so it is going to take a lot of time that is why i have given one full dedicated day for it with defense current affairs the reason we are reading defense current affairs at the last is because uh, whatever you read now it will be very easy to recall just one day later so that is a good thing then general science polity i have given one one day because these are small and simple subjects if you read them right before the exam you will be able to recall a lot of it in the exam and it is going to go good so these are high scoring the brownie points which we need to score if you start if you read history at the very last day before the exam first of all you will lose confidence and secondly whatever you read in history may or may not come in the exam it is very hard to determine that but polity general science defense current affairs these are sure shot questions which will come and you can attempt and you can get good marks out of it that is where we are doing this in the last this is my opinion economy i am dedicating two days geography 3 and history 3 so the last two weeks like i have told in the starting of the video the last two weeks are very important for the final leg of the revision you need to get if you are currently working in a job try taking leave if possible if your jobs allowed and if you are full time preparation then please dedicate at least uh, 10 hours or so per day into the preparation in these last two weeks because it is needed if you want to clear the attempt you need to score good you need to score high i'm not going to talk about how much marks you need to score because it depends on the paper and we will see that once the paper is out Uh, so the last two weeks are going to be dedicated entirely to the uh, final leg of the revision it is just going through the pages seeing that yes i am able to recall everything and all that we don't need to get under too much pressure because you are not going to read new content i'll be coming on what's not to do and to do so these are the two weeks now for the rest three weeks that is from 1st until 20th for three weeks i have suggested you start with history and if you are currently uh, 30th also you have and you have few more days then you extend the history because history takes a lot of time history followed by economy followed by a paper capf 2020 then four five days dedicated entirely for paper to practice like i told you need to practice by hand and you need to revise the content for it so five days you are going to dedicate for that then one day for general science then you again write a paper of cpf of 2021 then four days for upsc allied papers these are your mock tests you can do coaching mock tests also you can do upsc allied papers also i personally prefer solving pyqs and upsc allied exams more than the mock papers as a priority i'm not saying you should avoid that no if you have the time go ahead do it but for upsc allied exams you have the cds as first priority civil services prelims as second combined geo scientists as a third and epfo paper also which was conducted last year so these are some of the papers that you should do for cds please uh, at least go through the past 2 uh, to 3 papers of cds because it is very it is kind of a brother sister relation between capf and cds the exams civil services prelims at least go through 2024 you have to go through 2024 and 2023 also if you have the time combined geo scientist you can leave also that is fine epfo if you have time you can go ahead some economy questions from epfo are very good epfo the paper is big you don't need to go through all the questions you can redact the questions which are not relevant to our syllabus so that is fine and then two days for polity again a test and then you go ahead now here what i want to talk about the tests the 7 14 and 21 tests is that you prefer writing them in the official upsc time you make it as close to the exam as possible if you are if you have an access to a library go sit there solve without any distractions 
wear a watch and do as per that what you are going to wear in the exam don't use a digital clock or a mobile phone to check your timings and all that and you dedicate 3 days for actual papers and cpf 2023 you are doing here at the end for paper to practice i have suggested you solve the questions from 2017 until 2020 you have the uh, handwritten pyq solved material from 2013 until 2023 the 10 years have been handwritten solved by toppers and veterans so that is a very good resource for you and whenever you write the mocks from cpf 2020 until 23 make sure you write them in the proper 16 by 23 standard and it is as close to the exam as possible for you uh, i have explained all that in the uh, further videos of uh, paper 2 analysis and upsc other papers these are the other papers which i would suggest you can include your coaching mocks also if you have access to them that is all right that is dependent on you on how much you are able to process in a day then your final last two weeks i have already explained them geography the ncrts are important please make sure you have read the ncrts and throughout this one month throughout this one month every morning you need to have a routine routine as in every morning you know you are going to dedicate one and a half hour to current affairs suppose so in that one and a half hour you are going to go through your monthly current affairs you are going to read the newspaper then maybe if you want to get into the mcq aptitude if you are finding it tough then every day morning you take 15 20 minutes and you solve mcqs mcqs as in you can take uh, civil service prelims or cds paper every day you solve 15 15 mcqs and you complete a question paper in a few days so like that you can go ahead and if paper 2 is weak for you suppose and you are very scared of essay every morning uh, after your current affairs revision you can set a timer of 13 minutes on your uh, watch or something and within 13 minutes you write one essay you take a pyq uh suppose 2020 paper you have taken and then from question 1 to 6 you will write in the next 6 days so you just write one essay 30 minutes and get it checked by a friend get it checked by someone or get it checked by the handwritten pyq solution that has been uploaded by the toppers the compiled pdf from 2013 to 2023 that is a very very good resource so that is pyq solved by the toppers and veterans so you write your solution one morning in 13 minutes of time and then you uh, see what the topper has written and then you can see how you can improve on your own copy you can do this on a daily basis and suppose one week uh, every, you can do it also 3 days that one day suppose 1st of july you have written one essay 2nd of july you wrote one argument 3rd of july you wrote uh, two reports and you continue this so you 3 3 days you have a cycle and 7th day you take a rest so 6 days you keep continuing the cycle within one month you will be a professional in writing you keep uh, you only solve the pyqs that is my first thing until and unless you have solved pyqs all the pyqs in the previous attempt then okay you do coaching stuff but pyq are always the top priority they are number 1 over everything next i come to the do's and the don'ts do's multiple revisions as much as i have given two revision you can squeeze in a third revision go ahead you need to do as many revisions as possible and i'm sure you have revised your subjects at least once to twice all the subjects previously that is why you are going to give the exam this year if not please get the revisions done and just because someone has done five to six revisions very fast that does not mean that your two revisions are lesser than that no if your two revisions are much more deeper you may recall better than the other person so just because your friend says he has done seven revisions don't get scared your two revisions may be much deeper that is all right reattempt pyqs or solve easy mocks if you want that is very true i have been in this upsc exams field for many years now and i know as much as you try the coaching try to emulate the upsc paper the upsc paper is something else indeed so the pyqs come first i have repeated that ample times in this video so i'm not going to repeat it again good quality sleep food and rest please please okay one week before the exam try to eat home cooked food if possible consume less of oil uh, don't try to get into lethargy don't eat too many sweets especially at night 
which disrupts your sleep cycle and everything you get your sleep in order if you are nocturnal like many aspirants are then please get your sleep cycle in accordance with the timings you need for the 4th of august please make sure of that please take proper rest this i want to share that if you sleep 6 hours and then you study for the rest of the day it is going to strain you out very much rather than if you sleep for 8 hours in a day that is a lot 8 hours in a day the rest of the day you may study less you may study for lesser hours but you may have better efficiency our aim is to recall better to be efficient not to spend more hours we need more output than the input so rest is very very important and not scrolling through social media not wasting our dopamine and energy on these uh, all these new things uh, the youtube reels and so uh, whatever i don't know the name so whatever these new things are the uh, 5 10 second tiktok videos and all that please don't engage in such content it drains you of your energy it reduces your attention span it is not good for the mental health of an aspirant after the exam do as much as you want but prefer not doing it before the exam okay so that is my personal suggestion what you do in your life is your own choice your own decisions i am here just to give a strategy just to give an opinion don'ts new book is not to be read in my cds video i have suggested uh, upinder singh and those things if you are watching that video right now it's okay but don't go to a new book don't purchase new book and start reading it no that is a blunder only new content allowed is a current affairs content suppose you have a defense current affairs like i have spoken about you may take from seven eight pages from some coaching and you can revise it some table from a telegram channel and revise it of all the military exercises that's fine but not too big a content that oh i have not studied medieval india until today let me buy irfan habib or satish chandra and read it no please don't do that for polity economy also if you have not read subhash kashyap or something no please don't pick up new books okay please don't do that you are one month away from the exam if you pick up a new book you will shoot down your confidence and we don't want that no major change in strategy of attempting the paper whatever uh, strategy you have gained of attempting the paper that i will circle the bubbles in this timing as per page as per the end whatever strategy you have of attempting please go with that please practice it every week like i have given in the schedule please practice it every week and do not change it at the very last moment how to attempt the paper and everything you can see other videos i'm not going to discuss that here no tough mock attempt yeah this is for the coachings because they kind of put some different questions out of the trend of upsc and then our motivation goes down so that is why then no last minute tips for tukka if someone comes and says that uh, i got an instinct of attempting this or this is how you do the tukka and all these things are going around on the market nowadays please don't fall for that and please don't spend time watching videos on motivation and all that it is the discipline which counts not the motivation so that is one thing i'll leave that entire discussion for another day motivation versus discipline yeah how can i assist now i am coming closer to the end of the video how can i assist i have already uploaded on this channel four part lecture series on paper 2 where i have explained first lecture on report second and third on essay and the uh, second and third on argument and the final lecture on essay from the very basics what pen to use what paper size until the intermediate levels i have explained there i have not gone into the advanced tricks or very advanced because you need a good command over the basic and intermediate good amount of handwritten practice by yourself then only you switch to the advanced techniques which are used in the civil services mains and other exams and frankly it is not required in capf that much advanced because philosophical uh, essays you can avoid in the capf it is unavoidable in the civil services means but here you can avoid so why go for all the extra thing and because i know many of you may not have had a good command on the intermediate levels also and we need to work on that we need to write every day i have given the three plus three strategy above that one essay one argument one report and you repeat that cycle again so one week you have six days 
you keep doing that you check with the handwritten cpf p2 pyq topper already shared i have myself written a paper uh, a paper within this pdf that is freely accessible pdf on the telegram and the youtube uh, you have the links attached that's fine uh, cds one i have video i have uploaded the, uh, these three things are my own uh, the cpf i have written one of them yeah so i have done these by myself there are more videos on this channel which you can watch for paper 1 and paper 2 which are good no doubt they are very good i have seen them myself also then uh, i am i am planning for a few more videos on uh, from learnings from the civil services prelims 24 for cpf 24 and if you want me to make more videos like analysis of cpf 2023 paper 1 paper 2 or uh analysis of cds uh, questions you want me to take the aptitude thing again like i have discussed in the cds 1 2024 you want me to uh, discuss the question papers with you please let me know in the comment sections and uh, these are things from my end rest abhishek sir will be uploading as and when needed uh, all all the materials for free if you need anything more let me know lastly again best best wishes for your cpf 2024 work hard in this one month if you are a full time aspirant please dedicate everything remove all distractions that is going to be my only suggestion for you remove all distractions reduce communication with the outside world get into your shell work hard in silence and let your results show uh, show it for themselves i hope to see your names in the uh, written qualified list and best of luck let me know uh, any more need uh, videos you need before the cpf 2024 and uh, if you uh, keep watching this video again before the exam or something if you need it all the best hope to see you soon good day